Welcome back everybody. Here's a look at the finished product we'll be making today. Given one of my New Year's resolutions is to try go low waste as best as possible, I thought I'd start by eliminating foil, considering I use a lot for work lunches. However, wax cloth wraps that I've seen in the past mainly use beeswax, which isn't vegan. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to make vegan wax cloth wraps. To start then, you shall need a pair of scissors, ideally fabric scissors, but we're going to try go low waste, so we're going to use what we've got. Cloth of your choosing will need to be cotton, otherwise plastic will melt in the oven. I like the pattern on this one because it's food related. Then three cups of soy wax, some baking parchment, capsule drips, a baking tray that you don't mind getting wax on because it can be a bit hard to get off. And the oil of my choice today was grapeseed oil, but you can mix that up accordingly. And simply a pan, a paintbrush for washing the wax on, and some wooden stirrers as well. So, to start them, you don't need to do this step, but I got a foil the length that I would usually wrap my sandwiches in, considering this is all that I'll be using my wax cloth wraps for, and just cut them to size. If you don't use fabric scissors, it will fray, but I don't mind, I like that rustic look. Then heating in a pan, you want to put three cups of soy wax. I found that this mix made six wax cloth wraps when using one meter of material. I'm using grapeseed oil just because that's all they had in the mall with immediate effect. I didn't want to wait in the post for any other kind of oil, but I found that this worked just fine without being too sticky. I didn't use the entirety of the half cup, I just eyeballed it accordingly. It's basically just to make sure that when you're bending the material, it doesn't flake into your food. Then over a baking parchment, you want to evenly saturate the cloth on both sides, but you don't want to drench it, because again, otherwise, when you come to fold it, it will flake. But do just make sure that it is all covered. Take your time if you need to and put it into a preheated oven at 150 degrees for five minutes. I later found that folding it is not an issue as well if you need to. Then once out of the oven you want to drip dry it upright. You'll likely be doing them one by one as I have had to do just down to the size of my oven. However that's not an issue given the fact that they tend to drip dry within about five minutes as I found. And then here's the finished product. I'm very pleased with the results as well, they're not too sticky and I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of them. They seem to be nice and durable. And here they are in action. I always get creative, switch up the patterns, again provided they're all cotton. Let me know if you made them yourself and how it goes.